While he sneaks around the world, causing harm and choking pregnant ladies, sticky fingered Miller smacking chicks from Hawaii. He'll take your kids for a ride on a jet to London. Tell me where in the world is Ezra Miller. Do you know where he is? Do you know where he is? Can you tell the authorities? Like, what is going on right now? I'm so confused. I follow kind of pop culture news from time to time. I like, I like to dabble, I like to get in there, I like to figure out things. So every once in a while on my Twitter feed, I see something going on with Ezra Miller. And I'm like, I don't really know or care about Ezra Miller at all. Just, just the, things keep popping up and I'm, I've got to get down to the bottom of this. Just follow me on this journey of trying to figure out what the hell is going on with Ezra Miller. Because I'm very confused and I think it's about time that I figure it out. If you don't already know who Ezra Miller is, and I, I wish I was you, but I know who he is. Ezra Miller is an actor that does uh, different stuff. He's in DC, he played The Flash, he is in uh, Wizards of Waverly Place, <laughs> and he's basically just a really eccentric fellow. And uh, as a friend of mine, Gary from Nerdrotic likes to say, he's really friendly with the producers in Hollywood. You know, most of his career has just been kind of silly, but you can kind of brush off as being like, ah, oh, this guy's kind of like, a, you know, eccentric and weird and stuff, and like he's on the red carpet wearing like a trash bag. That's fine. It's kind of now where it's starting to get a little darker. It's starting to get a little deeper into his like psyche. And we're going to go through it kind of in a quick session until we get to what's happening right now, which is the main subject. But let's go through a quick timeline of the weirdness that has happened in the last three years. This is an article from Vulture called The Complete History of Ezra Miller's Controversial Career. Now, we're not going to read any of the first stuff. We're just going to kind of skip right past it because most of it's just, like I said, silly, over-the-top stuff until it starts to get darker in 2020 to present. So let's jump right to that part. The title of this section in the article, Erratic Behavior, Abuse, and Grooming Allegations, 2020 to Present. So on April 1st, a deleted tweet showed a video of... Ezra Miller choking somebody, and let's we'll see it right now. Learn it. Think you want to fight? Is that the deal? Whoa, bro, 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 bro. Fight? Whoa, bro! Like, don't, don't do that, dude. Now that's not funny at all. That's n in no way is that humorous that he is dressed like the Joker and choking a woman. Not cool. Not cool, Ezra. But nothing happened. You know, it kind of got brushed under the rug. He's eccentric, right? He's he's a silly, wacky guy. And it kind of got pushed to the side, but it continues to go down this rabbit hole of just, it gets worse and worse and worse, and it doesn't seem like anybody checks him. So let's continue. On January 28th of 2020, so in two, two years later, in a since deleted video, everything seems to be deleted. In a since deleted video posted to their Instagram account, Miller tells members of the North Carolina chapter of the Plan. I'm gonna I'm gonna bleep that out. I, I, don't, I don't think I could say any of the things that Ezra Miller says in this video So I'm just gonna let Ezra Miller say the things that he said in this video. Let's just play it Hi, um, this is Ezra Miller uh, AKA the Bengal ghouls the mad goose wizard <laughs> Let's keep going and um, This is a message for the Beulahville chapter of the North Carolina Ku Klux Klan. Hello, first of all, how are y'all doing? Um, it's me. Um, look, it's me. if y'all wanna boy. die, I suggest just killing yourselves with your own guns, okay? Um, otherwise, keep doing exactly what you're doing right now and you know what I'm talking about. And then, you know, um, we'll do it for you if that's really what you want. Okay, talk to you soon, okay? Bye! Celebrity. Great. So, after Ezra chokes somebody, and after he does this weird video threatening the Ku Klux Klan, the Oscars comes out and awards him the fan favorite moment from the Snyder Cut. And we know how the Oscars deal with celebrity violence. I'm out here. Uh-oh, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> But what I'm saying is I'm kind of, it's being ignored. His actual crimes are being ignored here. And we'll get to the final act of what's going on now. But we're going to continue because it keeps going. March 27th, 2022. 
Miller is arrested in Hawaii and charged with disorderly conduct and harassment following a physical confrontation with patrons at a karaoke bar. Miller became agitated while patrons began singing a karaoke rendition of Shallow from A Star Is Born. He began yelling obscenities at the patrons and grabbed a microphone from a woman singing karaoke and later lunged at a man playing darts. The bar owner asked Miller to calm down several times to no avail. Miller's $500 bail is paid by a couple they lived with. God, just fuck it. By a couple he lived with. By a couple he lived with. March 29th, 2022. Several, a couple days later, the couple who lived with Miller at the hostel filed a restraining order against the actor. The couple asked Miller to not contact them in any form and to stay away from their home and place of work. That seems like an escalation. Following the incident at the karaoke bar, the couple claimed that Miller returned home and threatened the couple saying, I will bury you and your slut wife. It's not funny, okay? This is not humorous at all. The petition alleges that Miller stole the wife's passport and the husband's wallet, which contains his credit cards and social blah, 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 blah. Let me get this straight. So he throws chairs and mics at people, taken to jail. A couple that he lives with bails him out. And then when he they bail him out, he goes to their house. He starts threatening them and their th slut wife. Allegedly. Allegedly. April 6th, 2022. Warner Brothers and DC executives held an emergency impromptu meeting to discuss Miller's recent controversies and their future with the studio. With his future with the studio. According to a knowledgeable source, the consensus in the room was to hit pause on any future projects involving Miller. Gonna be hard when you've already filmed the entire movie of The Flash and it's on the shelf and he's in Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I don't know how you're gonna pause that. Do you get it? You got it. It's like law and, law and order. I, I'm not going to do it anymore. I won't do it anymore. April 19th, three weeks after his March arrest, the actor was again taken into custody in Hawaii for allegedly throwing a chair, which hit a woman at a private party, leaving the 26-year-old woman with a half-inch cut on her forehead. Now, this is four different instances of Miller getting aggressive with people assaulting them. This is number four. Authorities say that Miller was arrested around 1 a.m. during a traffic stop and released from custody at 4 a.m. Not just kidding, I got you. I did it again. That's the last one, I promise. That brings us to the current controversy. What is happening with Ezra Miller right now? And it's kind of, it's crazy. So I've figured all this stuff out. I've been getting these little tidbits here and there of Ezra Miller doing crazy things and I kind of laugh it off and I move on. But this last one, really got me interested in what's going on with him. He has been accused of grooming a 12 year old kid. This person is now 18, but when they were 12, they were allegedly taken in by Ezra Miller and groomed. We'll get into it here. The parents of 18 year old activist Gibson Iron Eyes, who is non-binary, sure, accused Miller of grooming their child in court documents obtained by TMZ. From the Standing Rock Sioux Tribal Court, Gibson's parents, attorney, and activist Chase Iron Eyes. Why is everybody an activist? What is going on? And pediatrician Sarah Jumping Eagle seek intervention from the court, alleging that Miller has been involved with their child since they were 12. 12. A judge signed the request for the protective order, which says Miller cannot contact the child Sarah or Chase or be within 100 yards of their residence. Ezra Miller met this child while they were both protesting in 2016. According to the court documents, Miller flew the child out in 2017, flew her out to London to visit the set of Fantastic Beasts. Gibson was 14 and Ezra Miller was 25 years old. 25 years old. The parents said that Miller tried to sleep in the same... Mm, the parents said Miller tried to sleep in the same bed as a 14 year old. He gave this child alcohol, gave this child drugs, and tried to sleep in the same bed as a 14-year-old, allegedly. The parents go on to accuse Ezra Miller of being an influence on why their child ended up dropping out of their private school. When this child was 16 years old, Ezra Miller did something, a tactic of people that groom do a lot of the time, is they offered to pay for the tuition to this private school. So then they create a situation where they're indebted to the groomer. 
you go oh well i've got to do everything that the groomer says because they're paying for my tuition they're flying me to london they're buying me fancy clothes they're giving me a listed substances that i want i want alcohol i want drugs he's giving them to me these this is so fun mind you this is a 25 year old when they first met he's 25 she's 12. during a, a lot of this this child gibson is living with Ezra Miller living with him, an adult. The, the parents are not there. Now, I, play, I blame the parents. This is your fault. You should be ashamed of yourself. In fact, you should be getting charges right now because you put your child in danger by letting some rando celebrity have your daughter. Give them drugs. Give them alcohol. Try and sleep in the same bed as them. If not, more. They were in Hawaii together. So this is they can we have confirmed that this these two have been together they've been seen together ezra quote ezra uses violence intimidation threat of violence fear paranoia delusions and drugs to hold sway over a young adolescent dakota basically the parents came out ordered a separation said hey ezra miller is influencing our daughter they were a minor and alleging all of these horrible things abuse they found bruises on their daughter when they went to go fly and check on them in vermont they found all of these different things alleged in the documents in court there is a hearing scheduled for july 12th and the police can't find him the victim here dakota gibson this this person is completely groomed to the point that they don't even see their abuser as an abuser this is her statement on june 6th I dropped out of Bard five months ago. My friend and comrade, William, passed away shortly thereafter. My mind was incredibly impacted, and I've needed space and time for the processing of grief. My comrade, fucking commie speak, my comrade, Ezra Miller, for the entirety of the aforementioned era, has only provided loving support and invaluable protection throughout this period of loss. My father and his allegations hold no weight and are frankly transphobic and based in the notion that I am somehow incapable of coherent thought when you're 12 you are not able to coherently consent to anything you're a child and you've been groomed since you were a child she is just so brainwashed at this point so as of june 9th the parents say that gibson and miller are on the run quotation that's what they said they're on the run the court has not been able to locate or serve the actor they can't track him down He's not at a premiere somewhere. I just find the whole situation is very strange. As of this recording date, the 14th of June, Ezra Miller has still not been seen. He's not been served. He is still on the run, basically. And I find it very strange that nobody's talking about it. That's what it kind of made me want to make this video. Because I heard this story like a week and a half ago. And I heard that he was on the run and they, they, the court has not found him. And then I just woke up the other day and I thought, wait, is Ezra Miller still on the run from the police? <laughs> we'll see what happens. He's not being charged with anything. He's not being arrested for anything. But I just find it interesting that all of a sudden we've been, we're seeing him all over the place just throwing chairs at people and choking pregnant ladies. And all of a sudden now he's nowhere to be seen. But that is the saga of the Ezra Miller. It's an ongoing story. Who knows what's going to happen next? And if you want me to follow it, I guess I will. I just, I wanted to make a video because it just seemed like such a freaking weird story. I wanted to unravel it even just for myself. And I figured I'd just make a video for you guys. I want your best guesses to where Ezra Miller is right now at this moment in the comments below. Guess where he is. Like the video. Subscribe if you can. I appreciate you guys. Thanks to the channel members for supporting me, guys, and I will see you next time I see you. Thank you so much, channel members. You make these videos possible. You make it possible for me to be able to work on this channel. You inspire me to make more content. I love streaming with you guys when we play games and we just have a chill stream. You guys are rad as hell. 
and I want you to keep it up because you guys are uber duper chads that's right we're doing a freaking chad stream right now at the end of this video nobody everybody clicked away everybody clicked away but not you not you you chad that's right you guys are beautiful i love you and i'll see you next time you chads stay frosty and don't be don't be grooming no kids that's weird